Hello friends, I am Sujoy and today we will tell you how to do modified Euler's method very easily with the help of this Casio scientific calculator. So let's start. Our question is given dy by dx equals to x plus y with y0 equals to 1 and h equals to 0 0.05. Find y of 0.1. So let's proceed to the solution. Here x0 equals to 0, y0 equals to 1 and h equals to 0 0.05. Here x0 value comes from here inside the bracket and y0 value is this one. That means for x equal to 0, y equal to 1. We have to find out the value of y for x equal to 0.1. So here is the modified Euler's formula. y1 of 0 equals to y0 plus h into function of x0 comma y0. So y0 is 1 plus h is 0.05 into function means our original expression. So here we will put the x0 plus y0 value here. So x0 is 0 plus y0 is 1. That's equal to 1.05. Next y1 of 1 equals to y0 plus h by 2 into function of x0 comma y0 plus function of x1 comma y1 of 0. That is our previous value. So y0 is 1 plus h is 0 0.05 by 2 into function of x0 comma y0 that is 0 plus 1 plus function of x1 comma y1 of 0. x1 is x0 plus h. So x0 is 0 plus h is 0 0.05. So x1 is 0 0.05 plus this value h equals to 1.0525. Next y1 up to is equals to y0 plus h by 2 into function of x0 comma y0 plus function of x1 comma y1 of 1. That is our previous value. So everything will remain same, only this value will change. So we will put this value here. So that will become 1.0525. And now since we are getting exactly same value in two successive iterations, we can stop our iteration. So we can say x1 is 0 0.05 and corresponding y1 value is 1.0525. But we need to find out y for x equals to 0.1. That means we need to do another iteration. But now I will tell you how to do this calculation very easily on this scientific calculator. So our calculation is this 1 plus 0 0.05 by 2 for that press this fraction button. 0 0.05 by 2 bracket again small bracket inside that 0 plus 1 bracket close plus 0 0.05 plus bracket open 0 0.05 plus 1.05 bracket close and whole bracket close and press the equals to button. So it will give you the fraction value, press S to D button to get this value, 1.0525 is our this value. And for this iteration, you don't have to enter the expression again, only press the joystick left and change this value, so 1.0525 and press equal to button. That's equals to 1.0525. Isn't it cool? That means for successive iterations, you don't have to enter the expression again, just change the value and press equals to. Next, second iteration, y2 of 0 equals to y1 plus h into function of x1 comma y1 equals to y1 is 1.0525 plus h is 0 0.05 into x1 is 0 0.05 plus y1 is 1.0525. That's equals to 1.1076. Next, y2 of 1 equals to y1 plus h by 2 into function of x1 comma y1 plus function of x2 comma y2 of 0. That is our previous value. So here, y1 is 1.0525 plus h is 0 0.05 by 2 into x1 plus y1 plus x2. x2 is given by 
x1 plus h. So x1 is 0 0.05 plus h that is 0 0.05 that is equal to 0 0.1 is our x2 value plus our previous value 1.1076 that is equal to 1.1102. Similarly y2 up to same formula only this value will change. We will put our previous iteration value here 1.1102 that is equal to 1.1103. Similarly y2 of 3 same formula only this value will change here we will put this value here 1.1103 that is equals to 1.1103. Again since we are getting exactly same value in two successive iterations we can stop our iteration and we can say x2 is 0.1 and corresponding y2 is 1.1103. So y of 0.1 equals to 1.1103. Isn't it cool? Now one thing I want to mention here is that in our original Euron method y1 is given by y0 plus h into function of x0 comma y0. This formula is same to the Euler's method and we are getting one value here. In Euler's method we stop our calculation here but in modified Euler's method we are doing repetitive iterations to get the more accurate value until we get exactly same value in two successive iterations. That's why modified Euler's method is more accurate than the original Euler's method. So that's it for now. How was the video? Let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, please like and share the video. That will really encourage me. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video. And still then, stay connected by subscribing.